Assured Automation, we make automation easy. In this video, we will be converting an E-Series fail closed pneumatic actuator to fail open. First, remove the indicator cap from the top of the actuator. Please note that the slot in the shaft is perpendicular to the actuator housing. Next, remove spring end caps. This is the actuator with the end caps fully removed. To remove the internal pistons, place a wrench on the actuator stem and rotate counterclockwise until the piston can be pulled out. It is very important to note the orientation of the pistons as they come out of the actuator, as they will have to be rotated 180 degrees. Now rotate the pistons 180 degrees. Push them into the actuator to engage with the pinion. Rotate the shaft counterclockwise until the pistons are pulled fully into the actuator housing. Note the slot in the shaft should now be parallel to the actuator housing. Reattach and tighten the spring end caps. Attach indicator cap. The actuator should rotate clockwise when air is applied. It should spring closed counterclockwise when air is removed. Assured Automation, your source for manual and automated valves and flow meters.